Don't mistreat her. Don't cheat on her. And please don't be one of those guys. Hey, young preacher, you caught me on and listen, I have something for you that I want you to consider. And this is from my heart to yours. And I'm speaking from a position of strength because I'm speaking from the position of a preacher who has been married one time to one woman for 40 three years, and December the 6th will be our 44th wedding anniversary. Here's my lesson to you today, preacher. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 7 says, Likewise ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Look at this. And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Now, preacher, you need to be able, young preacher, to get through to God at a moment's notice. One of the things that will hinder your prayers is mistreating your wife. Don't mistreat her, don't cheat on her, and please don't be one of those guys who when they get up and they give honor to everyone else, then when it finally comes to the wife, they say, oh, I better not forget this because if I don't do this, I'm gonna be in trouble when I get home. No, that's not honor. Honor her because she deserves it. The Bible teaches that we are to dwell with them according to knowledge, and that is the knowledge of the scripture. And how about this, the knowledge of her. You know her, she's your wife, you're learning her, treat her right and give honor to her as unto the weaker vessel. She's not weaker uh, in the mental or, 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 or spiritual sense, uh, not even in the intellectual areas, but physically she is and you should always honor her and pay her great respect. So preacher, do this man and the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you. As preachers, we know that our churches are populated with women. I know that you're going in and out, working with them all the time. Keep your wife in a prominent position, treat her right, love her right, and years and years down the road, you'll be thanking God for the advice that I've given you today. Okay, man, young preacher, we'll see you next week. God bless.